point. Hi you guys, Trudy Forever here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys just a little talking about keto. So I just want to share with you guys like how I've been feeling throughout this process so far and like different questions that I have that I would like answered. Maybe y'all can help me, I don't know. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So I'm filming this in February. I don't know when y'all are gonna see it. Don't know that yet, but I'm filming this in February. So I'm just now starting month two of my journey. So yeah, I'm filming this at the beginning of February, starting off month two. I am currently 21 pounds down. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I think actually, I think this is the most weight that I've lost at one time since ever starting a weight journey. That's shookening. I just realized that, oh my gosh. I'm so proud. Cause girl, it has not been easy. Here's the gag though, you guys. I'm not even fully sure if I'm actually in ketosis yet, which is kind of crazy, but I have some theories as to why. So the only way I've been testing is through keto urine strips. The three ways that I learned that you can test for your body being in ketosis is urine strips, blood, through your blood, through your like a glucose ketone meter, and then your breath, like there's like a breath machine. And I do know that urine strips are the least accurate way, but they're the most affordable. <laughs> so according to like the strips, I'm not even remotely in it. But one thing that I did realize is like, I drink a lot of water. Like I drink 40 ounces of water at a time and I basically keep drinking. I try to drink over a hundred ounces. My goal is to drink about 160 ounces of water a day. And that sounds like a lot, but I know that the larger you are, the more water you need to drink. So I basically drink until my pee is clear or until I've hit 160 ounces. And I realized that when I do take the keto test, like on the test strip, that my pee is like completely just water. So I'm wondering, I don't know if that has an effect, like because I'm still pretty new to all this, I'm just wondering if like, if that makes a difference, like should I be taking it like right in the morning or does it matter if it's all water? Should it still show that I have ketones in it? I don't know. I don't know you guys. That is something I would really like to know because the first time I took like uh, testing and saw that it was just like completely in the negative. I was so discouraged, but yeah, that was super discouraging and it still is. But another thing that comes into play is I've been looking at my macros. So I've been tracking my macros through my fitness pal. I have a premium account just because I want to really be able to look at the nitty gritty and see like what areas I'm lacking in, what I'm consuming too much of, too little of, and one thing that I noticed through tracking my macros is that I've been going way high on my protein, which I know that your body, if you do keto and then you have no carbs and then you have too much protein, I know that it turns it, it goes through a process that's different than ketosis and turns that protein into glucose, which defeats the purpose. But I'm a part of some like support groups on Facebook. And so I literally just like messaged all of them and ask like their opinion, like should I be cutting out more of my protein because your allowances for what you can have vary based on your weight. And for me being bigger, I have almost no protein allowance. So it's almost like I have to go meat free in order to not go over my protein. So I've been doing things, for example, like having pancakes, like coconut pancakes, instead of having like eggs and bacon to try to do things like that to kind of cut out all that protein. I still have been finding it very, very challenging. Also, I've been finding it very challenging to hit my fats all the way too. However, like, I think I'm going a little bit too ahead of myself. Let me backtrack a minute. So 
with the whole protein situation, I messaged the groups on Facebook and asked people for their opinions on like what I should do. And basically at that point I had lost about 16 pounds still. Now that could have been water weight because I do know that when you're bigger, it's a lot easier to lose weight quickly in the beginning of your journey. So I don't know if that was 16 pounds of water weight or what, but I am still losing. So I'm down 21 pounds now. So I just don't know. So basically I got a lot of mixed responses some people were like you're eating way too much just in general because I sent screenshots of like what I've been eating my macros and everything and people are telling me like if you're losing the weight don't change anything some people felt like the protein that mac grow counters like allow is very low in general yeah it was not very helpful unfortunately because I got so many different like opinions on it that I really don't know what to do yet but I have been trying to cut back on my protein a little bit but one thing that it, that it is showing me is that I'm definitely going to have to work out in order to like burn some of that protein off so I've been doing that a little bit I want to start transitioning into working out just like I transitioned into doing keto. I don't think I mentioned that earlier but I just did not try to do working out in the beginning of this journey at all because I know that in the past when I've tried to go full force with a diet and working out I burn out after a month. So I wanted to slowly transition workouts into my routine as well. Like I said, also I've been struggling to get all my fats in, which is crazy because I really do be going hard on the, the fats. Most of my meals have a lot of fat. But here's another thing people were telling me because I did mention in my groups that I am by definition more morbidly obese, which is hard to say, but it's the truth and the truth will set you free. But people told me that because of that, I don't need to worry about fat. Like so people were like, oh, if, if you already have fat, then you don't need to consume more fat. So I'm like, okay. In theory, that makes sense, but then what do I eat? Because if I'm not eating a mostly high, if because keto is high fat, low carb, moderate protein, so people saying like, oh, you don't even need to worry about fat because your body has plenty of it to burn. Okay, well then what do I eat? You know, I'm a little confused by that. So these are just some concerns that I have. Like my main concern is like, am I in ketosis or not? Cause I don't know. <laughs> am I consuming too much protein? And if I shouldn't be trying to get my fats in on a high fat diet because I'm already fat, what do I eat? Those are my three biggest concerns right now. But as far as like cravings for anything, I've been doing really good. It is so crazy because like, I've been really, really trying hard to like just lean on God for support for this. And it has really made the world a difference because I, have definitely had a change in mindset like before. If I would be around my siblings or family members and they had like fast food, I would be like just thinking about how I'm missing out on that food. And now my mindset is more like, uh, you're not missing out sis. You're, I more so think about the future. Like, oh, when I'm able to walk into Forever 21 and pick out whatever I want, when I'm able to rock a bikini on the beach, you won't be thinking about that little oogle ass sandwich. You know, my mindset has changed a lot. I still have struggled a little bit. What's crazy, you guys, what I miss the most and what I've been craving the most is cereal and milk. I'm so shook. Like, who does that, you know? I've been craving milk like freaking crazy. And it's crazy because it's like one of the only dairy things you can't have on keto. And I love milk so much. I know most people are like, so not here for milk, but I love it. And so I got some unsweetened almond milk and it was disgusting. I could almost pretend it was milk, but I just can't do it. Something in me just can't do it. So I have not been able to drink it, but I'm willing to try it one more time. The unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I, I think that's going to be the one thing that is really hard for me to kick. Oh, I've been doing really, really good with um sticking to my plan, which is like just like cooking more 
and I've been out to eat a couple times actually. I think in the past month, whether it be fast food or an actual restaurant, I think I've been out to eat less than 10 times, which sounds like a lot, and it is when you think about it. However, this is a big, big like step for me in comparison to like before keto. I would go out to eat pretty much every day in some capacity, like, oh, I want a drink. Let me go to McDonald's and get a drink. Oh, while I'm here, might as well get some fries. Oh, I'm hungry. Don't feel like cooking. Let me go to Taco Bell. Like I would do that like every day to some degree. So to decrease that by so much so far, I'm really proud of that. And then when I do go out to eat, I'm only getting keto friendly items. And then if my items are higher in carbs, then I portion it so that I'm not eating all those carbs at once. So I'm just really killing it right now and I'm proud of myself. The only area I just feel like I need to really work on is like lowering my protein possibly and then upping my vegetables. I've been eating vegetables. I've been eating like broccoli and green beans and like mixed vegetables and a lot of cauliflower. I will say so cauliflower I'm I'm I like it but having so much of it because it's like a substitute for like potatoes and rice it's getting to be a bit much just a bit much just a bit but i do think i need to eat more vegetables so I'm trying to work on that and drinking more water and relying more on god for throughout this journey because at first i was like super like yes lord we're about to kill it we're about to do this turn up and then i start to slowly like fall off a little bit and I noticed that when I start to fall off with him, I start to fall off a little bit with this keto. And I just, I need to get it together, period. Oh, I've been having fun like trying out new things, new recipes, seeing what sweeteners I do and don't like, things like that. Trying to be creative with like the things that I cook. It's been an interesting journey so far. So yeah, are you on keto? Let me know in the comments. We can be like accountability partners. If you guys like have any questions for me so far on this journey, I would love to hear your questions. And um, yeah, you guys, I don't know, like this video's a little bit all over the place, but I just wanted to chit chat with you all. And I don't know if I already mentioned this or not, but if you like this makeup look, I do have a tutorial on it. You can click it in the eye on either side of me but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what other keto videos or beauty videos you would like to see in the comments below and i will see you guys next time bye